thank you doesn't even begin to express the depth of my appreciation. This was a chance for survivors to thank those who saved them. So today we're recognizing uh, some of our personnel as well as uh, community members for assisting uh, patients that were in uh, very serious shape. By serious shape, he means people who survived traffic accidents, near drownings, and cardiac arrests. Like local resident Chris Pignone, who had an acute heart attack while at a home gathering. Was having a conversation and essentially, not that I recall a whole lot of it, but I just kind of tapped out. But thankfully, Joel Beidelman, who happens to be the principal at Farquhar Middle School in Olney, was there and he began to administer CPR. So the good thing about us, we work as an emergency team um, at our school in Montgomery County. So we're all trained in CPR. And so I think because of that, we really had a calm demeanor and really tried to rally to strategically do what we need to do to save his life. Then another friend of mine, Jennifer Hallmark, she jumped in and called 911. And without him doing the CPR, I just don't think I would have had oxygen to the brain. And if I hadn't died, my, I would have assumed I would have had some sort of significant brain injury. Then there's 18-year-old Marissa Arnold, who saved a four-year-old from drowning while on lifeguard duty at Stone Ridge Community Pool in Gaithersburg. I jumped off the chair. I heard his aunt scream. Everyone around the pool knew what was going on. I um, shouted at my lifeguards to call um, 911 and give me the AED. Um, after that, I performed two sets of compressions of ventilations, and he had started to vomit. I turned him on his side, and that's when I noticed that I had saved a life. It's important uh, that we recognize the efforts of our personnel and, and community members for stepping in a, in a time of crisis, and uh, without these folks' actions, uh, some of these patients would not be here today. After hearing these stories of survival, one thing's for certain, knowing how to administer CPR can possibly help save someone's life. Public CPR is, is critical to improving our survival rates. Uh, we're doing much better uh, today than we have ever done, uh, but that's the missing link is people recognizing a cardiac arrest and, and helping out their fellow citizens and doing uh, uh, good CPR and, and making a difference. Reporting in Gaithersburg, Jordan Lindsay for MyMC Media.